Venezuela has a new electoral council, but not precisely the one that mainstream opposition leaders had been demanding for years. Five new members of the body that should oversee fair and transparent elections have taken their seats after having been selected on Friday by the pro-government Supreme Court, rather than the legislative branch. The accelerated process, which did not allow anyone to publicly submit their candidacy, was immediately dismissed as a fraud by opposition leader Juan Guaidó. We do not recognize any false electoral council named by a judicial arm of the dictatorship that has no responsibility for these matters. Only the National Assembly's nominee committee can present the names and receive the nominees. Three of the five new council members are clear government allies, and the remaining two, who claim to be either neutral or government opponents, are seen as Trojan horses by the mainstream opposition. One of them is Rafael Simón Jiménez, he told Al Jazeera that he hopes that Guaidó, who is viewed as Venezuela's interim president by more than 50 countries, will change his mind. What would a responsible opposition leadership do? It would wait and see what happens, not count the chickens before they hatch, because what is at stake here is the destiny of Venezuela, which we have the right to rebuild. If not elections, then what alternative do they propose? The opposition and much of the international community have been insisting on a neutral body that would guarantee that all political parties and candidates take part in internationally supervised elections later this year. It's viewed as the best way out of Venezuela's deep political and social crisis. Instead, a council viewed as overwhelmingly favorable to the government and picked without consensus is seen as a mechanism to perpetuate President Nicolás Maduro's grip on power. The new council is here to give new dynamism and organize the election of a new national assembly. It must be elected this year, no matter what. The U.S. State Department calls this, quote, the latest step to rig the next Venezuelan election. This comes just days after Alex Saab was arrested by Interpol in Cape Verde on a refueling stop while flying from Caracas to Tehran. He has long been wanted by the U.S. Justice Department for money laundering, accused of being a frontman for President Nicolás Maduro, allegedly in a scheme that siphoned off millions of dollars from a food box program. The Maduro government is demanding Saab's release, calling it an illegal act of U.S. aggression. As for where Venezuela's political confrontation will go from here is impossible to guess. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.